Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello, what's up? Have a beautiful Monday, you know? Yeah, beautiful for a tornado season right now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. How we doing? Good, how you doing? I'm well. Doing well. What's going on, everybody? Hey, Carlos, what's up? Hi. Hey. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday, what's happening? Get too much sauce, that's why it be dripping out. The best way to think of an FN SKU, it's a license plate, right? So imagine the product is a car and the FN SKU is the license plate. And in that license plate, it tells Amazon what ASIN belongs to that car or that product as well as what seller belong, that product is owned by. So that is embedded in that FN SKU. So Amazon knows, hey, this is this product for this ASIN and it's sold by Ryan and Roxy. Got it. Okay, because he was super confident in it, but yeah. he was putting it down to like the nitty gritty and I was like, I gotta know this. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so and then- yeah, That's I guess good. So I, love that you're, I love that you're thinking and asking questions. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Fault, last question is, is um, uh, our good friends, you know, we were BS and talking about what we got going on and kind of mentioned that we're interested in getting a loan from a bank, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, dude, like, I would be willing to, you know, invest in you guys. I have some capital sitting around. Do you guys or anybody else on the call have any suggestions on how you'd go about, you know, borrowing from more or less a person rather than a bank and like what the numbers end up looking like on that for like, you know, 50, 100 grand? Yeah, so I I, I would like to hear what any, anybody else ever gotten any lending from any family or friends and, and, and how you structured that. If not, I can jump in here, but I'd love to hear if anybody else has experienced with this. I've done it with my dad. You just set up your own terms and you do a a, 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 a legal binding contract. Yeah, and what what did you decide with your with your pops, Melinda? Was it like a, an interest? Was it a percentage? Was it I give you twenty, you give me back four? Like kind of how if you could get a little into the structuring of it? Five year fixed term at three percent. It's my father, um, but he was so impressed that I presented him, yeah. and I said, um, I think it was five percent, and I and I said if I pay it off within three years, uh, the interest drops down to three percent or whatever, and he agreed. And I said, this is a legal binding contract. Let's, I will go to your lawyer. I'll pay the lawyer fee to, to just to sign the contract. Like this is a, don't treat family like their family treat it like a bank and that your credit will be ruined. And so my dad didn't have to do it, but he had the money, to, he had the money. And my brothers, we go to the bank of Paul. My dad's name's Paul. So and my dad is- it's, The bank it's, of Paul. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to set up an account with the bank of Paul. How do you get that? Yeah, he got the money, so, uh, but, and, and I- and I How about 3%? Him. Right? <laughs> That's great, Melinda. Yeah. I love that. And it's just get creative. Get just there's money everywhere. Just get creative is what I say. Yeah. I think the most valuable thing that you said, Melinda, was the was the contract as well, you know? I think it, it really it sets a precedence for your A, your level of seriousness, and B, it just legitimizes it. And C, it lights a fire under your ass, because now it's like, you know what? This is like this is just some friend loaning me money. This is like a this is a business transaction that's gonna potentially change my life. So I would structure it the same way Melinda did. You're probably not gonna get as competitive rates as she got from the Bank of Paul, but you you know, <laughs> You can definitely, you can definitely, you know, structure it the same way a bank would. Let's say, hey, you know, I had $50,000, I, I pay it back in whatever, six, 12 months, and I'll give you 8% or 10%. So the guy makes five grand doing nothing and, and his money's sitting around anyway. And be willing to like, you know, if, if somebody needs kind of ins assurance, be willing to say, you know what, you get my car, like, like sign up something that makes them feel comfortable that it's a no-brainer that they want to do this for you. That's what I would do. And my dad had that. Overseas, he takes care of certain like business things for me, which he controls. And so if I screwed up, he'd take that away. And so again, that's an incentive. It shows that I'm serious. So I, I highly would recommend that. I love it. And then do you think that it would be um, beneficial if, you know, obviously I'm imagining this is kind of his first time you know, loaning out, say, a lump sum. I was thinking maybe for either the first, you know, I guess six months or so, say we borrowed 50,000 um, and then we came and re revisited it and then maybe ramped it up a little bit more, not like going for the entire farm yes. uh, right up front, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, I, would, I, I would suggest doing that, yeah. 
Okay, and then I was thinking, you know, again, I think the collateral thing or not necessarily collateral, but them giving the reassurance of, you know, we're not just gonna, you know, throw them over or whatever, obviously the documents, but um, do you think it would be in our best interest to maybe pay them the interest each month? You know what I mean? Like, How, how'd you go about payments? Yeah, I would, I would think it would be, but like, I think monthly payments is more reasonable for, for a business because to, to take, let's, let's just call it $20,000, to take $20,000 and then pay it off six months from now, you know, you don't know where that 20,000 is gonna be. It could be an inventory, it could be something crazy could happen. So I just think monthly payments makes your life much easier. You have control of the loan, right? So you kind of have a little more control of your future because you know exactly like, okay, this month I have to give this guy 4,000 bucks. Like, let's give it to him and then what's left we'll buy inventory with. So, and that that's gonna really depend on the conversation with him. Maybe he's like, you know what? Here's, here's $20,000, you know, pay me every other month or, you know, but that's something that you should have a say in based on how well the two of you are with managing your finances. You know, because if you're not good at it, then you don't want to wait six months to pay them off. You would, want to, you would want to set yourself up for 30 day, you know. Absolutely. Okay. Great, great call. Another great call. Appreciate all of you. Yeah, absolutely. So if you got any questions, hit us in the Facebook group and uh, we'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Hey, doll. All right. Hey. Have a good evening. Yeah. Good night. I'll see you at the top. Good night, night. everyone. Hey, lit.